The following video is rated T. It contains hard facts and uncomfortable truths throughout. It is intended only for mature audiences. Anytime you throw your weight behind a political party, and that party can keep the promise it made to you during election time, and you are dumb enough to walk around continuing to identify with that party, you're not only a chump, but you're a traitor to your race. Malcolm X said that. So in the spirit of Malcolm X, I have some questions for you. Which page of the official black people handbook states that black people are only allowed to support Democrats? Who exactly appointed black entertainers as the chief spokespeople for our causes? Why do so many of y'all support kneeling for the national anthem when the first person to die for American independence was a black man named Crispus Attucks? Why do the names Michael Brown, Eric Garner, and Trayvon Martin whip you into a frenzy, but the names Derek Burns, Kendall Henderson, and Calvert Webster mean nothing to you? Do all black lives matter, or only those that fit your agenda and advance your narrative? And while we're talking about black lives mattering and all, since it's estimated that over 19 million black children have been aborted since Roe v. Wade was passed in 1973, how does it feel to know that we've killed roughly 15,200 unborn black children who statistically would have been doctors if given the chance to live? Planned Parenthood disproportionately kills our own youth. So when you say, I stand with Planned Parenthood, what you're really saying is, I support disproportionately murdering more people who look like me. I guess y'all just don't care about that, do you? When our grandparents were getting violently assaulted at lunch counters in an effort to secure our civil rights, do you think they suffered through that just so you would support only who you're told to support? If the parties really did switch, where is the proof of all the great things Democrat politicians have done for you and your communities in the last 40 years? I've heard a lot of talk about how crack was pushed into our communities, but who put a gun to our heads and forced us to smoke it or sell it? Y'all love blaming white people for everything, but did white people force you to max out your credit cards and ruin your credit? Did white people force you to use your tax return money to party instead of pay child support? Did white people force you to drop hundreds of dollars on those fresh kicks while you can barely pay the bills? Did white people force you to spend money on weed instead of investing that money in the stock market? Y'all claim to be champions of diversity and inclusion, but why do you exclude those who have diversity of opinion? Why is wanting to excel academically and speak properly all too often called acting white? Am I to infer that failing school and using Ebonics is the proper way to act black? If you Google the word slave, the third definition defines the word as a person who is excessively dependent upon or controlled by something. So given the fact that so many of y'all blindly vote for the same party, one that hands out welfare and rarely follows through on their promises, how does it feel to literally be a slave to the Democrat Party? Why don't we work to condemn black on black crime with the same energy that we work to condemn white on black crime? Have y'all forgotten that when you point the finger at someone else, three other fingers are pointing right back at yourselves? What message does it send to our youth when we scream out, F the police, but then listen to entertainers and rappers who glorify breaking the law? Isn't it weird y'all love screaming, F the police, but they're the first ones you call when little Aquarius gets popped by a local gang member? Y'all spend a lot of time saying police violence is the leading cause of death for young black men. Did y'all consult the CDC about this? Because they say the number one cause of death for young black males is homicide, usually by someone who looks like them too. So who should I believe? Without using Google, can you name the last three unarmed black men who were shot and killed by the police this year? Why are you only outraged when the media tells you to be? A lot of your Democratic leaders say they're against the border wall. Kinda ironic considering when y'all protest and block traffic on highways, you're literally forming your own wall and admitting it's effective, right? Why were so many of y'all silent when 91% of the people freed from prison under President Trump's First Step Act came from the black community? Everyone knows about the KKK, but how many of you know about the other white supremacist group that merged with them back in 1875? They were called the Red Shirts. And check out what their official battle plan was. Every Democrat must feel honor bound to control the vote of at least one Negro by intimidation, purchase, or keeping him away. It sounds a lot like y'all. Congratulations, you've become that which you claim to despise. Can you think up some different names to call me? Coon and Uncle Tom are kind of getting old. And speaking of Uncle Tom, how many of you have actually read Harriet Beecher Stowe's book? Because if you did, you'd find out Uncle Tom doesn't mean what you think it means. Are you mad at me because I'm telling the truth? Or just because it's something you don't want to hear? The American people await your response. The first revolution is when you change your mind about how you look at things and see that there might be another way to look at it that you have not been shown. The revolution will not be televised, not be televised, and be no rerun, brothers and sisters. The revolution will be live.